recent celestial events observed over AO have left many people astonished, leading to widespread discussion and debate. In the midst of this awe and speculation, the teachings of the Bible provide a framework for understanding the significance of such phenomena, especially in relation to the anticipated second coming of Jesus Christ. The Bible portrays Christ's return as a highly personal, visible, and glorious event, emphasizing its profound impact on believers and the world at large. The implications of witnessing events that seem to align with biblical prophecies are thought-provoking. Instances such as the drying up of the Euphrates River, escalating conflicts in the Middle East, and a surge in natural disasters suggest that we might be living in significant times. These occurrences prompt many to question whether they are witnessing the unfolding of God's promises as outlined in Scripture. Such signs, when viewed through a biblical lens, add weight to the belief that the end times may be drawing near. Adding to the intrigue, unusual phenomena in the skies have captivated the public's imagination. Cloud formations that resemble angels or other inexplicable figures have led many to wonder about their meanings. Some reports even claim sightings of figures resembling Jesus, though these are often attributed to natural phenomena such as water spouts or potentially angelic manifestations. These extraordinary sightings reinforce the sense of living in times that may hold spiritual significance, encouraging further contemplation and discussion about their potential biblical connections. The expectation of heavenly signs announcing the return of Jesus Christ is deeply embedded in biblical prophecy and Christian doctrine. The New Testament, especially in verses like Matthew 24, 30, offers a vivid depiction of cosmic events that will precede Christ's second coming. These signs in the heavens are described as spectacular displays of divine power, indicating the imminent arrival of the Son of Man in all His glory and splendor. Matthew 24, 30 highlights this by stating, Then will appear in heaven the sign of the Son of Man, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. This scripture emphasizes the dramatic and worldwide nature of these signs, ensuring they are witnessed by everyone on earth. The universal visibility and magnificence of these celestial events underline their importance as divine interventions in human affairs. They act as clear signals to both believers and non-believers, affirming the fulfillment of biblical prophecies and the approaching completion of God's redemptive plan for humanity. To gain a deeper understanding of the biblical view on angels and the signs of God's return, it's essential to comprehend the nature of these heavenly beings. According to scripture, angels are spiritual entities with distinct personalities and specific roles. Though they can sometimes take on physical forms, their knowledge does not match the omniscience of God. Nevertheless, their profound understanding and their observations of human history allow them to carry out their divine tasks with unwavering fidelity. This limited yet substantial wisdom positions them as effective agents of God's will, acting in accordance with His divine plan. In the expanse of religious texts and beliefs, Angels are portrayed as celestial beings imbued with divine purpose and authority. Their depiction ranges from the awe-inspiring figure of Gabriel, whose presence in the book of Daniel Daniel 8.16, 9.21 commands reverence, to the subtle yet meaningful interventions in various spiritual accounts. Despite their ethereal nature and the rarity of their manifestations, angels remain crucial actors in the cosmic narrative, intricately integrated into God's overarching design. Scriptures provide rich and vivid illustrations of these divine messengers, such as Gabriel's majestic appearance that leaves witnesses in awe. Throughout the Bible and other religious texts, angels serve as intermediaries between the divine and the human realms, delivering messages of guidance, revelation, and comfort to humanity Luke 1 19, 26 to 38 Matthew 1 20, 24. Angels, beyond being divine messengers, also fulfill roles as guardians and protectors, providing a watchful eye over believers and offering a sense of comfort and reassurance. This invisible but vigilant presence serves as a constant reminder of God's benevolent care, especially during times of uncertainty in mortal life. In Christian theology, this is exemplified by the concept of guardian angels assigned to individuals, 
reflecting a personal aspect of divine protection. Similarly, in Islam, the term Mala'ika refers to angels who act as protective companions, highlighting a shared understanding across these faith traditions of celestial beings who safeguard the faithful throughout their earthly existence. Historical accounts of angelic interventions provide enduring evidence of their influence and presence. Notable biblical stories, such as the guidance of Hagar in the wilderness Genesis 21 17 19, and the protection of Daniel in the lion's den Daniel 6 22, serve as timeless reminders of divine intervention and care. These narratives, deeply embedded in religious tradition, illustrate how angels act as instruments of God's will, offering protection and guidance. Even today, Contemporary testimonies of miraculous events often attribute these occurrences to angelic intervention, suggesting that these beings continue to provide glimpses into a transcendent reality, affirming the belief in a higher order beyond human understanding. The Bible also foretells signs that will herald the end times, marking the imminent return of Jesus. These signs are vividly described in Revelation 6:12-17 which speaks of dramatic cosmic disturbances and catastrophic events that will unsettle the Earth's foundations. These prophesied occurrences serve as stark reminders for humanity to repent and prepare spiritually. As these events unfold, they highlight the urgency of spiritual readiness and the need for repentance, encouraging believers to reflect on their faith and relationship with God in anticipation of these foretold divine interventions. The idea of the wrath of the Lamb might seem contradictory, but it highlights God's unwavering commitment to justice and righteousness. Although God's wrath is balanced by His love for humanity, it acts as a driving force for repentance and personal change. The heavenly signs that precede Christ's return are intended to alert people, urging them to reassess their priorities and abandon sinful behaviors. These signs, described in passages like Revelation 6, 16, 17, serve as divine warnings, reminding us of the need for spiritual readiness and moral realignment. Given these biblical teachings, Christians are encouraged to stay alert and observant, discerning the signs of the times and adhering faithfully to God's commands. Just as the angels in heaven worship and honor Christ, Revelation 5, 11, 12, believers are also called to offer their devotion and complete surrender to Him. By embracing the salvation offered through Christ and submitting to God's will, believers can find hope and assurance, even amid uncertain times. This devotion helps them remain firm in their faith, echoing the heavenly worship and demonstrating a deep, personal commitment to God. In summary, the unusual celestial phenomena and strange sightings observed recently should prompt us to contemplate the enduring truths found in Scripture. As we navigate these extraordinary times, we can find comfort and strength in God's promises. By staying faithful and vigilant, we prepare ourselves for the anticipated return of Jesus Christ, as foretold in passages like Matthew 24, 30 and Acts 1, 11. This steadfastness not only offers hope, but also ensures that we are ready to meet our Savior when He comes again.